How you going YouTube? It's Simon from Tech My Life Video. Now, you might call me a fanboy. And I think on online at least fanboy <laughs> more often refers to people who like Apple products um, than anything else. But you can be an Android fa a fanboy and I guess you could probably be a Microsoft fanboy. Um, you wouldn't want to be. I've crunched some numbers just out of interest because I moved from PC to Mac um, uh, using a, a computer for my design work um, amongst other things um, and it has made me so much more productive um, that the the people people talk about Macs as being expensive the extra in investment you know um, you know has not been significant um, so I want to look at some numbers here, and and you know I'm sure people are going to go, oh yeah, you know, that's you know they're going to, everybody's going to have their own opinion. Um, but look at this: if we buy a PC for two thousand dollars and a Mac of similar uh, spec for four thousand dollars, and we depreciate that device over over three years. Now, just throwing random figures out there, okay, of approximately, you know, I've seen people after three years uh, sell a 17-inch MacBook Pro uh, that originally cost $3,000 for just under $2,000. So it's retained a lot of value there. Um, I've had PC computers which after three years um, basically you know, are worthless. You, you, you will get nothing for them. Um, so there's some value retention there. So let's say, hypothetically, that after three years, the $2,000 PC is worth $100, so 5% of its value. Most people replace their computers every three years, um, uh, or, or more often, uh, as the case may be. But certainly three years, you're kind of stretching the technology um, with uh, what's new and up-to-date out there and if you're trying to um, do work with say video or um, design type work you, you're definitely going to um, need to probably upgrade your technology. Um, let's take the $4,000 Mac and say it's going to be worth $800 you know just as a, as, a, as a figure I think it would be worth more than that after three years personally. Um, if you're spending $4,000 on a Mac it's a, it's a, it's, it's a pretty decent Mac. Um, uh, we, you know, we're, we're leaning into Mac Pro territory there, um, and that's 20% of the value. So let's just say we think, you know, um, PCs are a dime a dozen, that's why they're cheap in the first place, and they don't hold the value as much because they are a dime a dozen. Um, it's a bit like looking at a, um, uh, a Ford and a BMW. A BMW um, uh, will probably hold its value um, a lot better um, being a prestige car. Um, and Macs are, you know, there's a bit of uh, prestige about them um, and certainly the build quality is there. That is, you know, I really think undisputed. So we've got that. Now, virus protection. Now, I don't run any virus protection on my, on my Mac. S Macs. Um, no virus protection. On the PC, I would have spent $120 a year. Now, I'm talking kind of Australian prices, so these prices may be slightly different depending on where you are in the world. So let's say $120 a year over three years, that's another $360 that we're going to have to add on to the price of the PC. Uh, so what we're at now is um, down to productivity. Just looking at some, some basic stuff. Productivity. How much more work do I get done on my um, my Mac than I did on my PC. Well, my PC, you know, crashes and lockups and, you know, just reduced productivity. Um, I have found personally that my productivity has increased greatly on, on the Mac. Now, just looking at some very basic figures, if I lost, if I, if I earned $20,000 a year from, from my computer, from use of my computer, if my productivity drops by just 1% in year one, I lose $200. If it drops by one uh, sorry two percent in year two, four hundred dollars and three percent just three percent drop in productivity in the third year, um, and from my experience, <laughs> from my experience, it's a lot more than that. 
that's $600 in year three. If we balance those figures out, the MAC costs us $3,200 over the three-year period. The PC costs us $3,360. The MAC's not more expensive. So there you go. I'm going on my experience, but my experience um, has been over a number of years working with um, PCs and now a number of years working on a Mac. And um, look, I can say that my productivity hasn't dropped off by 1%, 2%, 3% over one, two, three years. Um, I would say my productivity is 10% higher instantaneously on my Mac. Um, and, you know, therefore it blows um, the equation way out of the water. Um, so I've used very small percentage to basically show that, um, you know, it evens up with um, a very minor. Don't you hate that when people mow their lawn? <laughs> yeah, nice choice of time to mow your lawn, Mart. <laughs> I've been very conservative in uh, my estimates. And for that reason, um, if you're not earning 20 grand, if you're just using it for um, really personal use, the um, amount of time um, I think the Mac can save you. Um, it can still be a, a good choice. Um, so I've been conservative. Look at that. Can you hear that? Uh, um, so there you go. I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video and that's my opinion on and my experience I guess um, on working with Macs and PCs. Um, you can run Windows software on a Mac using Boot Camp or a program like Parallels. Um, so you can have the best of both worlds. Um, I've found that since I moved to Mac, I just haven't done that. I just haven't used Windows. Um, uh, you know, I've been so happy with the environment that I'm in now um, that I haven't needed to. Now, look, it's like everything, horses for courses. Um, but I think for the large percentage of the population, um, you would find a Mac, um, you know, user friendly, um, and you'd find it a good experience. Um, for those uh, more tech oriented people out there who really kind of like to get in and pull things apart and build their own computers obviously a Mac is not going to be maybe for you but there you go I'm Simon Tech My Life Video and we'll see you next time How you doing YouTube? How you doing YouTube? Hey guys You might call me a f f f f fanboy a fanboy fan man Yeah nice choice of time to mow your lawn Mark. Amazing you can hear that? We'll see you next time